okay so let's start with the another type of classification approach or mechanism that is support vector machine now here we are considering the data of a breast cancer and we are trying to classify the cancer in the breast whether the cancer is benign or it is malignant that is our purpose of doing this exercise so let's first again clear the output restart clear the output so now let's start now so we are that, that this is our heading that is svm2 breast cancer classification benign or malignant this is a cancer data set which deals with multi class classification problem this data set is computed from a digitized image of a fine needle aspirate fna for a breast mass they describe characteristic of the cell nuclei present in the image so this is the type of data image data is there which we have used for the purpose let us keep on running also side by side so the data set comprises 30 features right mean mean radius mean texture mean perimeter mean area mean smoothness mean compactness mean concavity mean concave points mean symmetry mean fractal dimension radius error texture error perimeter error area error smoothness error so like that there are so many parameters we we are not experts in the cancer disease as such but definitely we have got the data and we have to do the our job that is classify it right so again we can run it because this is again all remarks nothing will happen here now this data has two types of cancer classes malignant which is harmful and benign which is not harmful that is the two two types of categories of of this cancer our objective is to build a model to classify the type of cancer the database the data set is available in the sk learn library so we can again use the sk learn library and from there we can pick up the data and import the data and then we can use it so import uh, sk learn database library data set library so for that again we can run it so that the data set can be imported from there then we are going to load it into a variable called cancer cancer is called data set load breast cancer we have loaded it now we are going to print the description details of that which is possible with the help of this uh, command let print cancer description so once we run it you will see that all the details technical details from the medical point of view i mean those who are in, uh, having the knowledge they can definitely find make out some meaning from this but as far as we as a analyst we we need to you know process it based on our logic that that is there to attribute information radius texture whatever factors that we have seen all that have been taken into account then uh, these are the again various figures that we have got for each of these parameter then uh, missing attribute none and then uh, class distribution malignant benign all such things are there who is the donor when was this done all such details complete description whatever has been stored is all available to us for our un understanding or reference so the data is in array can be converted into column like, like we have done earlier here also we can convert it from the array to columnar data so for that we again need to import certain libraries so we import these libraries like pandas numpy seaborn and matplotlib right so after doing this we can convert the data from array to columnar data so by th with this code we can do that right now we can again print the top five rows so that can be done with the help of this and you can see that top five rows have been printed with details of all these variables features that we have seen earlier in the you know, in the description also and even before that also we have seen all that right so this is how we can get familiarity with the data set now we we'll let us see what is the types now by this you know mean radius texture all those things again will be be available to you and what is the kind of data float 64 etc so all such details which again is useful for us so that we should be familiar with these details also now this df.info again further 
we are trying to do the exploration of the data and we are getting some more information about it right so this is how we can get more and more information and more and more familiarity with the data set now here again we are going to get the statistics of this data whatever the data is available like count mean standard deviation etc we will get all that for our reference so that and see that all those features which are there which we have seen all these details of that will be available to us right now we have not done any analysis till now but definitely this is all exploratory of exploration of the data and we are trying to understand the data more and more now let us go to get the target names so once we do that there are two types of the target is one is it malignant whether it is malignant or it is benign so this is how we are going to get in our data set also so you can see that here we see it is numpy n dimensional of array is there and once we print the cancer you will see that you are getting the array like it, this so this is again so we can have both types of data within in the form of array and in the form of columns right so here we are going to do a, a bit more exploration of the data so like print the names of the 13 features now print features cancer dot feature names and print the label types of uh, cancer that is malignant or benign print labels so the, with this kind of a code you can say that we are you know, we, we are going to get the details of that features is equal to mean radius mean texture mean perimeter etc etc so these are all these details about various you know features we are going to get again this is for information no analysis has been done but definitely we are getting more information about the data set now here let's explore it a bit more and you can also check the shape of the data set using shape so again nothing will happen here now we are going to print the data shape so for, for that cancer dot data dot shape so with this you will get the shape of the data that means number of rows and columns so we have seen earlier also 30 columns were there and 569 rows were there in total right so let's check top five rows you can check that also that is with the help of this print cancer dot data zero colon five so you get the top five rows of your data in the array form so this again is just for, yeah, for our information because to check it that yes the data is intact and there is no problem in this so this type of activity should, should must be done as frequently as you need let's take a look at the target set that is with the help of the print cancer dot target this is the command for that now all along you must have seen in every program that you know the code code written is very very small because the, everything is being done by the library very few lines of codes are being written that is the beauty of the python and that is the beauty of the python libraries so that is where the person has to learn the libraries and of course some algorithm that is important because you must know that what is the kind of logic that you want to apply that must be known to you so you can see that we can get the target this again is in this form now we are going to split the data that is for the purpose of training and testing so that is again something very much important and that is why everywhere it is better to give the heading so that just by seeing at the heading itself you can understand that what operations are going to be performed now so let's do it here to understand model performance dividing the data set into training set and test data test set splitting the data set by using the function train test split you need to pass three parameter features target and test site at test set, uh, size additionally you can use random state to select random uh, records randomly so this is how you can you know do uh, uh, split your uh, data data set into training and testing right so we have done this also now import train test split function from sklearn model selection import train test split now these things you must you know uh, practice as much as you can so that you become quite close uh, familiar with all that this is the, the this library sub library is to be imported 
then split data set into training set and test set that is 70 percent training and 30 percent test and then you can go to so for that again as we said that you, you can read the entire code x train x test y train y test then train test split now you can see that here the x is taken as the capital and y is taken as the small character now why this has been taken just to distinguish the two so that we know that yes x means that we have divided the x data into you know the, that 70 percent that we are going to divide that is out of that for training we are keeping 70 percent and testing for keeping 30 percent again so we are dividing it that way right so train test split and then cancel data cancel dot target test size is 0.3 that is 30 percent has been kept for 30 percent uh, for, for a test testing purpose and 70 percent is left for the training and random state is 19109 so these are the you know various things that on the basis of we are going to divide the our and data now we are going to generate the model so in this section we are going to generate the model so let's build support vector machine model first import the svm module and create support vector classifier object by passing argument kernel as the linear kernel in svc function then fit your model on train set using fit and perform prediction on the test set also so this is how this again is again for our information so that we understand that what operation is going to be performed now so run it and you will see that nothing is going to happen in this but now we are importing svm model so from sklearn import svm this again is a library of sklearn sub library then x train x test y train y test train test split cancer uh, cancer data that is our data cancer dot target test size 0.3 random state is equal to 0 0.109 so now classifier is svm svc kernel linear this is a linear kernel then train the model using the training sets classify dot fit x train y train and predict the response for test data set y pred is this so this is how you can and you know write your code for your classification purposes and when we run it you can see that this is going to what oh this was not done we need to run this also because we have not yet you know uh, we have written the code all right but we, we need to run this also so that it can divide it so you can see that we have to run it from this so we run it after running it again this of course will not do anything but here we are going to run it again so once we run it then you can see that whatever operation was to be done has been done successfully no error in this now we are going to evaluate the model so when we evaluate the model again let's estimate how accurately the classifier or model can predict the breast cancer of patients accuracy can be computed by comparing actual test set values and predicted values so that is how we can we, we can you know uh, compare between the actual and the predicted and then we can be sure that yes whether the prediction has been correct or not it will not be 100 percent matching but definitely it should be close as close as possible so we can run this and again we are going to import these uh, some libraries like metrics so that because metrics will help us metrics is what metrics is nothing but for measurement for measuring so from sklearn import metrics then model accuracy how often is the classifier correct that also we need to check so print accuracy metrics accuracy score and then when we run it you will see that the accuracy for, for in, in the first place we are getting as 96 percent this is the kind of accuracy that we have got right with the that kind of a you know uh, model that we have developed and after dividing the data into 70 and 30 percent ratio now we got a classification rate of 96.49 percent considered as very good accuracy 96.49 percent accuracy is good enough but if still more accuracy is required we can do that also 
so you can run that nothing will happen here the, which is the, the, it, that is where the iteration comes into you can keep on repeating it till you feel satisfied so if you feel that 96 percent is good enough yes that's it but if you want to further explore it you can do that for further evaluation you can also check precision and recall of model so you can recall the same model and precision means how valid the search results are and recall it as, as how complete the re results are how, how complete the results are so let us see that then again you can see that the model precision what percentage of positive tuples are labeled as such print precision that is matrix dot precision score y test because y is the now the, the testing data is to be checked now y prediction then model recall what percentage of positive tuples are labeled as such print recall and matrix recall score y test y so we can recall it and then check it again so again you are checking it and you will see that the precision is going to be now we are going to run that and you will see that again 98 percent and 90 percent 96 percent we get after recalling it in the second round right so we can say that we got a precision of 98 percent recall of 96 percent which are considered as very good values so we can you know feel satisfied that our model is correct our approach is correct and we have got in both the cases a very close results so that is how we can say that yes the the, the classification that we have done with the malignant and the benign uh, cancer is good enough our approach is good Right. Thank you.